in last lecture we uh, studied the, the Lyapunov theorem which helps us to determine stability of equilibrium point of a system in today's lecture we shall uh, talk about uh, Lyapunov theorem to study the global asymptotic stability uh, of a system uh, we have already talked about uh, global uh, asymptotic stability uh, just uh, as a revision uh, we know that uh, we have talked about uh, region of attraction uh, which was also called basin uh, so what is this region of attraction set of all initial conditions such that the solutions converge to the uh, equilibrium point set of all initial conditions for which trajectories converge to the equilibrium point uh, that set was called region of attraction how to find region of attraction so finding region of attraction uh, is a, a difficult job it may be uh, impossible to determine it analytically however we can utilize Lyapunov theory to find an estimate of the uh, region of uh, convergence, con convergence region of attraction uh, for example, uh, we had studied uh, this example system, a nonlinear system given by these differential equations and uh, the equilibrium point for this system is at origin. We had taken this Lyapunov function and uh, computed its derivative which came out to be negative definite in this region. So if uh, the initial conditions are in this domain, uh, then the trajectories corresponding to those initial conditions will converge to the equilibrium point at origin. So this uh, domain, uh, this region is the uh, region of attraction or domain of attraction. Is an, uh, this is basically an estimate of the region of attraction for this equilibrium point of this system. So if this region of attraction is the whole state space that is for any set of initial conditions uh, trajectories converge to the equilibrium point then that equilibrium point is called globally asymptotically stable if for any initial conditions trajectories converge to the equilibrium point then that system or that equilibrium point will be globally asymptotically stable and we already remember that global asymptotic stability is studied for on, uh, for systems with only one equilibrium point. Why? If there are two equilibrium points, it means that uh, the second equilibrium point is one possible uh, initial condition which will not converge to uh, the uh, equilibrium point under consideration and that therefore that system cannot be globally asymptotically stable so uh, now this definition is uh, uh, clear and uh, we move on to the Lyapunov theorem which is utilized to study global asymptotic stability of equilibrium point of a system so uh, here is the statement of the theorem let x equal to 0 be an equilibrium point for this system nonlinear system uh, and let's take uh, a function uh, we called it candidate Lyapunov function which is continuously differentiable and it satisfies these conditions then the equilibrium point is globally asymptotically stable what is difference of this theorem from the previous statement there is uh, additional condition over here this condition was not there in the previous theorem that is uh, as x tends to infinity v of x also tends to tends to infinity this condition is called radial unboundedness so to study the global asymptotic stability of equilibrium point we have to take the candidate Lyapunov function which is radially unbounded let's elaborate this point radial unboundedness uh, for example here we have a function as norm of x tends to infinity we see that v of x will also tend to infinity therefore this can this function is radially unbounded another function 
what do you think about this function can you find any value of x which tends to infinity but v of x does not tend to infinity can you give any such value x is a vector with two states x1 and x2 and x1 tends to infinity but x2 is 0 what will be the case in that situation x1 tends to infinity and x2 is let's say some finite number so what will be the case in that case if you substitute the limit x1 tends to infinity then this uh, this term is equal to 1 1 1 plus some finite number is uh, finite number is not unbounded so this function is not radially unbounded although positive definite it is positive definite function it is always positive uh, so it can this function can be utilized to study the Lyapunov stability however this candidate function cannot be utilized to study the global asymptotic stability what do you think about this function Sir, this is also not really unbounded for example if we take uh, x to be equal to this uh, vector and a tends to infinity then uh, of course this overall term uh, will not tend to infinity hence this function is not radially unbounded what about this function this is also not radially unbounded so of course uh, this is positive definite this function is also positive definite these functions can be utilized to study the Lyapunov stability however these cannot be utilized to study global asymptotic stability of the equilibrium point of a system so now uh, this theorem is quite clear uh, again the point to emphasize is that uh, if the equilibrium point is not at origin we can use state transformation to uh, bring it uh, to the origin and uh, rest of the statements are the same only we have this additional condition that is this uh, candidate Lyapunov function should be radially unbounded